In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add up these images instead of our labels on a radar chart. So to do this, what we're going to do first is make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on charges3.com getting started. This link here, you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course, join the Discord channel. All the links are in the description box. So if we want to have an icon or item here, first of all, let's convert this into a radar chart. We're going to say here radar, save, refresh. While we have this, you can see here we get the Y and X scales. I don't want them because they are not existing in a radar chart. They have the R scale or the radial scale. So now we have this here. What I want to do now is remove the legend and I will make these icons here very nicely. So first of all, let's remove the legend. So comma, plugins, then we'll see a legend, display false, save, refresh. There we are. Next, I want to have padding on every side of here. So we're going to say here in the options, layout, padding, and we can just give it 40 pixels because the image that I will be using will be about 40 pixels as well. So I need 40 pixels, top, bottom, left, and right. We could hide these, but I will leave it for now. And later on, we have the image that is basically be on top of these labels. So to do this, what I need to do now is here, comma, and say plugins. And then in the plugins here, we can call this our radar icons. Then I'm going to say a constant radar icons, ID of radar icons, and say, before data sets draw so before we draw the data set we will draw these i'm going to say here these three items here but i will only use the chart object so i'm going to say a constant and we do here chart uh, a object destructuring of our chart so what we will be needing is the cvx because i want to enter the canvas i want to have the data and the scales and specifically the r scale that we have because that's the only scale we have so once we did this, what I want to do is I want to have a image first. So what I'm going to do is you see this image here. I'm just going to grab this image, which is just from chartjs.org. The image, you can find it immediately on there and it's just a basic image. What I will do is I will put that in here. I'm going to say a comma and I'm going to say here because in this data set, we're allowed to add another uh, namespace here. In this case, I will call it icons. So you can, you can imagine, you can put here anything you want so what i will do because we have seven labels i'm going to put seven times this item here and then maybe to make it more uh, practical i'm just going to cut out this and then i'm going to say here constant uh, icon equals this item and i just copy this and put it in here one two three four five oh sorry six seven all right there we are so once we have all of this we should be all good to go to start loading these items in here so what i'm going to do here is a few things do console log and just do the r first i want to get this refresh open up this and then there we are so once we have all of these here, you can see we get all the information. And what I need is I basically need the center point here to calculate how far to the very top. And we have here the X center and the Y center. All this information is for us crucial because then later on we can put it up here and in every angle. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to say here constant X center equals the R dot X center. And then as well for the Y center, I will need this as well. There we are. So once we have this, what I need to do more is because we need to get these angles here. How many degrees of difference is this? Because this is 360 is a full circle. So this one here and then basically 360 divided by seven items, we should get the value of the difference between this label and that label here so we can calculate the position here so what i'm going to do here i'm going to say constant and we're going to say here the angle lines 
And what I will do here is because we have the data, we can grab here the icons. And I just want to count here how many we have. I'm assuming this should always be matching with the labels. So you could get it from the labels or that one, but it doesn't matter really. But what I will do is just data and just get it from the icons. Data sets, index zero, and then we say here dot icons that we have created, and we say dot length, so we can get the length out of them or the total amount of items. So once we have this length, I can divide that by 360, which is a full circle. So constant angle equals 360 divided by how many items we have here of our angle lines, how many lines we have. Once we did that, we should be able to calculate the exact degree that we have, which is interesting, the uh, non-length, I think this is spelled cor incorrect. So now we correct that. So apparently it is about 51 plus plus. Uh, degree of difference. So now we have this here and let's start to draw first before we even go any further because what I need to have here, well we have the center with the x and y, that's the center here. I want to reset this to zero. So basically whatever this is, that is not the x and y center. Here that was 350 or something more, if I'm not mistaken. 350 and or 347 and 358. I want to set it on zero, so if I put in zero, this will be the item. Then I can start to calculate everything else. Because what I need to know here is the drawing area. And the drawing area is basically from this point all the way here. That is this here. So the angle here from here to here is about, or the amount of pixels from this grid line to here is 284 plus plus pixels. So I will need that information later on, but to calculate, of course, this must be zero so I can easily do plus, minus, or whatever we need to do. So to do that, I'm just going to grab that, a drawing area, and then we can start to draw and do some items so I have a clear visual. So what I want to do now is I want to just draw the image. So I'm going to say ctx.save to save all variables above. And then I'm going to do something very important. And the save is really important for this because we have to reset later on the screen by using restore. But don't worry about that. Just follow along. So I'm going to say here, translate. And what this does is it will now say whatever the new value is, that will be the new zero value. And that is basically this here. And I'm going to show you later how this works. So we have this here. And then I want to do here ctx.restore to undo whatever we did. So this here, of course, uh, unexpected on here. That's, of course, mistakenly, sorry. There we are. So what I want to do is I want to put the image in the center first. And you will see that this will then immediately work as well. So let's draw the image. I'm going to say ctx, or not even yet. I'm going to say here, I need to create an image as a constant image will be equal to a new uh, like that of course new image object and this image object will have the source and the source will be basically this icon here to get that i'm going to make it simple by saying basically this it's going to grab one of those because i just want to go in here and that's icon with an s Index zero, for example, we only get one for now. Later on, we're going to get more. So once I did this, I can say now ctx dot draw image, and then what will be the image? That's this image object here, and then we have here the uh, pixels. How many pixels? Or sorry, the coordinates. If I'm going to put it in the center, I will say here zero and zero, and then I will say here how many pixels in width and height i'll just make this 40 by 40 pixels save refresh all right ttx image is not a function um because i did not do it properly there we are as you can see here so if i remove this translate save you'll see this will jump here up there we are so that's why the translate here resets everything to zero from the point we select as zero in this case it is in the center, but you might say, why is it not here? The reason why it's not in the exact point here is because the image draws from this point and then going basically 40 pixels to the right and 40 pixels down. That's the image. It starts here, 
and basically somewhere here 40 by 40 that's the very ending so to move that up we could basically say minus 20 pixels or plus 20 pixels so it will depend on the situation so we have this here now but what I want to do is I want to make a for each loop so we're going to put them in there and I need to make sure that the angle we calculated will now be also set and then we have the drawing area the drawing area area can be also placed probably if we do here somewhere if I do this it will move here at the very end. All right, so this all works, but we're not done yet. So what I'm going to do is, because we need to have this and then rotate it, I want to have basically the drawing area basically like this here, up, or this should be a negative, basically. There they are, something like that. But I'll fix that later on. First thing what I want to do here is create the function to convert whatever is our angle into a math dot pi or basically the pi so whatever because uh, a full circle is equal to 2 pi so 51 degree angle would be somewhere in I'm not sure how much pi but probably uh, less than 0 0.5 maybe 0 0.2 or 3 pi so we're going to calculate that so we're going to say here the degrees to radians and then we're going to say here we're going to put in here the degrees and then I'm going to say here, uh, return degrees, but multiply this by the math dot pi divided by 180. And once we did that, we should get a value. So to get this value, I can say here, um, let's see what do we need to do here then. I guess we can just say here. The radians or constant radians will be equal to this function here. So we just have to make sure we put in a value here. And to do that, of course, we're going to use the calculation of uh, uh, Pyth Pythagoras. And we have here the sinus and cosinus. And this is really advanced stuff for me as well, so bear with me. Uh, what I need is two things. I need to make here a for each loop because we're going to loop through it because we need to put in all these images all around here. Let's do that first and then we're going to rotate them prop. Well, let's rotate them first and then we're going to make sure that we have the angle set up properly. So what I'm going to do here, CTX is rotate and the rotation will be, I guess the degree or uh, whatever the value is. I guess the radians, that's it. So once we have this radians here, let's see, are we missing an item? We have the radians and the degree. We have the radians here. And then let me double check, how do we get these here calculated? All right, so to calculate that, of course, I realize we have the angle. And that angle here, constant degrees we need to calculate this will be the angle that we have that we have calculated and then multiply le by later on we have to do for each loop multiply by the index but let's do multiply by one for now so we have degree calculated i want to move this um should we move that up i guess the radian and the degree here constant this function i guess this can be like that this can move up here and then we can do here for each loop later on below so we have all of this let's see if this works sorry i'm even for me this is slightly tricky all right reference error can access degree before initialization and that makes sense we have this here i need to cut out this one because i have the degrees here but we need to make sure that this is being defined first before we set it up here all right so you can see here we have a rotation here. I want to move it here because this is one that's basically matching with Tuesday. I'm going to push that now in the proper position. Uh, let's say if this is zero, it should be not rotating at all, but I want to move it up. To move up, what I want to do here is I guess we have to get the coordinates. So what I'm going to say here, constant. And I'm going to say here the X coordinate, that's the one we need will be math.cosinus and then the radians. 
and I think we can move that down here as well so all right what we have to do is make sure that it's like that there we are I think we are getting close to it copy this then I want to do for the y coordinates because these here needs to be recalculated based on well in this case math.sinus and then we have the radian let's save that refresh nothing happened yet but let's put this in here x core y core and then probably new to do we need some additional positioning i need to push it up for now so to push it up what i'm going to do is remember the drawing area and i'm going to get negative this plus this calculation by doing that i'll push that up like that all right, we're almost there, but I want to reposition it still properly. So, and the reason why it's right now happening is because of our image size. So I'm going to say a minus 20. Save that. There we are. And then here we can do again 20, but we will be on that 18 spot. I want to go up here. That's maybe 50 pixels. So I say minus 50. There we are. And I think we later on, we can remove the labels, but I want to just make sure everything has an image so now we're very close to it we're going to say here um, data dot data sets what we're doing here is basically getting this here then we do it for each loop on every icon so if you have multiple icons it will automatically load each of them and then say here, index zero dot icons and then we say dot for each and then for each here we can say every icon index function error expression put that in here Cut out this entire item, put it in there. The angle here is in degree. If I save this, refresh, uh, hold on, what's going on? The reason why this happened is because the save is not in the for each loop. Make sure the save is in the for each loop. There we are. Let's rotate this now because of this. Here we're going to say I save or sort of I index. There we are. Is anything being clipped off? No, and I think that is basically it. This was a quite tricky one. Uh, let's remove all these labels at the very back. So what I'm going to do here, proper indentation. Like that. Delete all of this excess white space. And then we have, uh, let's remove in the radial scale, we're going into the point labels. And then we're going to say here, display equals false, save, refresh. Now, and as you can see, what happened was when I removed that, it started to give it, or it expanded this here, probably it removed an extra, extra calculated space for the label. So it, so the chart area became bigger and everything will match nicely with that. And that's it.